darkness is nothing to fear. In our darkest moments, we learn who we are. Hello everyone, Wicked Gaming back with a bit of information about the Dark Star mod. Today I want to talk to you about upgrading from Darkstar Aster Dynamics and Darkstar Manufacturing to Darkstar. So first of all, all of them will run at the same time on your save. With Darkstar Manufacturing, there is a transition patch required, but it is only for one small thing. That one small thing is Legendary Crafting. The adding a Legendary to a weapon at an armor bench or a weapon bench what it's doing is it's attaching an object modifier to the item that you're updating that object modifier is the same because uh, between both mods because it is the one provided by starfield.esm with the exception of the dark star proprietary object modifiers um, because it, the destination of that crafting is the same exact object modifier and you have two mods trying to supply a recipe to install that object modifier, then one of them will win and the other one will fail the conversation. Um, in my testing, I ended up in a state where I had both mods running successfully for a long time, and I decided it was time for me to try and test the crafting system in Darkstar. And when I went to apply legendaries, I couldn't because the legendaries were all grayed out because they... They wanted me to install the legendaries from Darkstar Manufacturing from that recipe. So I created a transition patch. It will go live the same day that Darkstar goes live. Um, if you are running Darkstar Manufacturing at the same time as Darkstar for a while or forever for some reason, then you will want the transition patch running at the same time. So why would someone want to run all three at the same time? And what is the most ideal way to get the most of your experiences with Dark Star? Should you start a new character? Should you go to New Game Plus? Yada, yada, yada. The same thing everybody always asks. Well, in my testing, we had some testers that created new characters, some testers that went through New Game Plus, and then me, where I ran Dark Star Astro and manufacturing and dark star and all of my mods all at the same time and slowly transitioned this character over to using only dark star and was able to uninstall dark star astro dynamics and manufacturing so let's talk about the three main paths one is a new character if you were on a brand new character and you were trying to choose between dark star astro dynamics manufacturing and dark star just run dark star uh, there's no real reason to run the other two Although the other two do have things like VIP mode that give you easier and cheaper access to things. Darkstar doesn't have those. Darkstar is built to be a full gameplay immersion expansion. So you miss out on some of that if you cheapen it by giving yourself quicker access through more cheaty means. Um, but, you know, you do you. If you prefer the VIP modes, then maybe Darkstar isn't for you. Um, but... Next playstyle would be a an existing save and going through New Game Plus to switch over. That obviously is very clean. It's going to work very smooth. Uh, everything you've unlocked in Dark Star Astro Dynamics, it's the same requirements to unlock them here in Dark Star. So your ship building should transition pretty smoothly, uh, f relatively seamlessly. The weapons didn't really and, and ship parts didn't get renamed. Um, you'll just see Dark Star as a prefix instead of DSA on any Dark Star ship parts. Um, and of course, the Dark Star landing pads are different than the DSA landing pads, um, and they have a different inventory available to them. So, like the old DSA parts don't show up here, um, and the Dark Star parts don't show up on the DSA landing pad. Those are your two big differences in that regard. Um, but if you're switching over in the middle of New Game Plus transition, I recommend you just stop in the Unity, create a hard save, uh, exit the game, uninstall DSA, DSM, the Darkstar Boost Fixer, any other mods that you have that might conflict with Darkstar. Um, turn on Darkstar, log back in, let everything adjust, 
and then continue through the Unity into New Game Plus, and you'll be fine. Um, and then the third way is the more complex, slowly over time way. If you are a player that wants to transition to Dark Star and does not want to go through New Game Plus, yes, that is 100% possible, but it will definitely take some effort from you. There's no way to optimize this and make it any easier, so you're going to have to bear with me. So the first thing that is going to cause the most heartache if you do it wrong is outposts. Um, I know everybody probably expected me to say ships first. That is not true. If you have um, cargo links and stuff built from the DSM, the Dark Star Manufacturing Cargo Links, those will need to be deleted from every outpost and replaced with Dark Star Cargo Links. Um, any storage, including the small chests that you might have even lost track of or forgotten where they were, any of the crafting stations from Dark Star Manufacturing, all of that stuff needs to be deleted from your outpost completely. Don't forget a single outpost. Additionally, any equipment that you have, clothing, armor, weapons, all need to be eventually transitioned over to using only Dark Star versions. And that might be a little bit confusing at start because some things, like the vanilla items, have the same name. And some things, like uh, quality tiers, are going to drop uh, and look the same. So make sure in this case, if you're running DSA, DSM, Dark Star, make sure Dark Star loads last. That way, any quality tier adjustments done to weapons, uh, for example, that Dark Star wins that conversation in the loot pool, uh, that DSM relics aren't dropping, that it's Dark Star relics that are dropping. That is very important. Um, it's, it's not as dramatic, but it is definitely important. Uh, next would be to slowly transition all of your gear by uh, ideally taking off what you're wearing and just replacing it with straight up replacements from Dark Star. But of course, that requires you to complete the research. Now, you can do that. That's all good and fine. Um, you can continue to use. You can, you can do what I did with Silk. So let me tell you what I did with Silk. Loaded up Dark Star, it's immediately switched to Dark Star Ship. I immediately destroyed all of my pre existing outposts and built brand new ones using only Dark Star stuff. So I didn't have any outposts left that were using DSA and DSM stuff. I had only outposts that were using Dark Star. Um, so from that point, the only thing left was gear, it was the only thing I had to transition. I continued to use my Dark Star manufacturing gear, my armor, my apparel and my weapons, and I went POI hunting. So I went and cleared point of interest after point of interest in high level systems, gathering loot along the way. Anything that was legendary, I kept anything that was white, I threw away, dropped on the spot or didn't loot. So at the end of that, you know, a couple days of pretty awesome grinding, um, mostly play testing the leveling system that we built, that I built in and the enemy scaling. I was able to acquire hundreds of weapons and armor and bring them all back to a codex machine, strip them all down, and basically got my legendary research done right away. So once that was done, I was completely maxed out. I was able to claim the Umbral Assault Armor, or the Force Assault Armor and the Force Assault Blade, claim the food and drink recipe, craft the food and drink. That let me switch away from using the Community Lulz food and drink. Uh, which was the only thing I used that mod for. Um, and then immediately craft a full suite of gear. I went and made three pieces of apparel. My uh, I had my Dark Star, you know, Force Assault armor. So I upgraded all of the apparel and the armor. I had the Force Assault blade. I crafted the, the guns that I wanted um, all the way through to Mark III, Mark II, wherever they stopped, crafted my ammo. And then I uh, upgraded my weapons. Once that was done, I uninstalled Darkstar Astrodynamics and Darkstar Manufacturing and the Transition Patch and Community Lulls and the Darkstar Boost Fixer. And at that point, I was purely on Darkstar. All in one save without going through New Game Plus. So yes, it is totally possible. Um, as far as transitioning from other similar mods, such as Royal Emissary, or the, the Royal Immersive Leveled Enemies, those of you that have watched my live streams in the past, you knew, or you might have noticed, that I was using that mod uh, as a player. And I 
uninstalled that mod the day that I installed Darkstar, uninstalled Royal Enemies, and installed this one. And there were no problems. And the reason is that Royal, uh, the Royal Immersive leveled enemies actually did what I had to do, and it made hard edits to the NPC files. So those hard edits to the NPC files then got replaced by my hard edits, edits to those NPC files, and basically Darkstar took over. So that worked just fine, mid-save, no problems. Um, if you were using other scaling systems that you want to turn off to turn this one on, uh, you can investigate, ask some questions with the people that wrote those mods, and find out how they did it. Or if you are savvy enough, you could even look into their mods file yourself in Xedit or the Creation Kit, and find out what they touched and how they touched it. Um, if you aren't a person that's capable of doing that or, or has the interest in doing that, that's fine. Um, you could run an, an, you know, the old mod and then Darkstar over top of it. Um, that may work. Uh, just be ready with a hard save to roll back in case anything goes wrong. Um, but for the most part, they should play nice from my experience from what we've tested so far. Um, we tried our best uh, between the testers that I had uh, to test as many mods as we could that are popular in the market. Um, I don't have a list on hand to read right now, but we were able to test, by my estimation, over 500 different mods to see whether or not they worked with Darkstar. And there were definitely some that were a favorite among my testers um, that are listed in the mod page for Darkstar. Uh, feel free to go grab those and try them out if you want. Uh, but I wanted to make sure that everyone who's interested in Darkstar knew that it is actually easy to transition to Darkstar if you are already playing with Darkstar Astrodynamics and Manufacturing. Um, if you're playing with neither, and this is your first time grabbing a Darkstar mod, just keep these info kiosks in mind. Um, yes, if you come to the Discord and ask questions, you will probably get answers. If you comment on my YouTube videos, you might get an answer, but that is not what I use my comment section for. Um, I get inundated with people messaging me privately, asking questions that they could answer themselves by re reading the kiosk. And I'm human, and that does get frustrating. Uh, further, I have a Discord community that does most of my mod support, because most of the mod support that my mods require is people needing information. Um, occasionally there's a mod conflict that'll come up, or more, most likely it's not a conflict, it's just a load order issue, and I am not a load order expert. Um, there are members of my Darkstar headquarters Discord that are load order exports, uh, experts for both PC and Xbox, um, and can walk you through anything you might need to know. Um, customized to your specific load order. Uh, they are there. They are very willing to help. They are very great, kind people. Um, I just don't have that knowledge because I focus in on the mods that I build. Um, well, you might not know, but if you are building uh, mods to be paid creations, then you are not allowed to have any other mod visible in your videos and screenshots, which kind of pushes you to play only the mods you create. Um, so I, I mostly run under that that kind of, you know, status full time. Uh, there are other mods I turn on now and then uh, for my own enjoyment. Uh, but if I'm doing mod development, uh, you can expect that they're mostly turned off. Uh, because I don't want any, any false positives or false negatives to pop up in my personal testing. Uh, we introduce other mods when my other testers step in. So... If you are messaging me on random different social medias, um, and it happens all the time, and you get frustrated that I'm not answering, it's because I don't go to social media looking to do mod support. I usually ignore private messages, um, like especially on Facebook. Uh, I've gotten a few messages on Facebook. Um, I'm a novel author, uh, a novelist, an author, writer, whatever you want to call it. Um, I have published novels out there. Um, my my Facebook account is for that purpose almost exclusively, and I have thousands of people that are following me and me following them on that platform, and almost all of the communication I get there is about, 
you know, people trying to sell me their ability to draw cover art, etc. And so I have trained myself to ignore private messages. Um, I have occasionally gone to a social media platform that I'm on, found somebody that found me there and sent me a message two, three months ago that I just didn't know about because I don't go check them. Um, that includes Discord. If you join the Discord and can't figure out how to read the instructions and follow the instructions to get full access so that you can post, private messaging me is not going to get you answers. I'm just going to tell you to follow the instructions. So it, we're all adults, or most of us are. You know, let's, let's respect each other's time. And, uh, you know... Try, try to help me help you, right? Let's, let's try and get help when you need it from the right places and trust my community to help you rather than relying exclusively on me, please. And thank you. <laughs> I only say this because I've been bombarded today by people in private messages and on, you know, comments on videos and everything else, asking every question they can think of under the sun. Uh, there are more videos coming, uh, many, many more videos coming about this mod. It is huge. Uh, it is a combination of many mods that I've ha had out for over a year, but at the same time, it is a slight or, or and sometimes dramatic update to those mods. So everything here is new. I am not expecting everyone to walk in knowing how to do it all. I'm here to help coach you and lead you along the way, but it's better for me if I can talk to all of you at once through a video like this rather than individually to 20 or 30 different people at the same time. So uh, with that, that is the end of the video today. And I adore you all. Thank you for your support and peace. <laughs>